The second class of gear tooth failure is bending fatigue. In this third segment of gear failure analysis, Bob Arakello defines, compares, and contrasts low cycle fatigue and high cycle fatigue. He describes the three stages of bending fatigue, initiation, propagation, and fracture. And he shows examples of telltale beach marks that indicate each. Bob then discusses the advantages of using ductile materials and the application of residual surface stresses. So right now I want to change change subjects now to bending fatigue and realize this is slow propagation, usually a ductal fracture, and slow growth through this region. So it consists of low cycle fatigue where if I have very high stress levels up above the yield strength, the part will only last less than 10,000 cycles. So an example of low cycle fatigue is when you take a paper clip and break it in about four cycles. You can usually take cold drawn steel that's used in a paper clip, bend it back and forth, in other words, reverse load it about four to six times and it will fracture. That's an example of low cycle fatigue. You're up above the yield strength, so when you take that paper clip and bend it 90 degrees, it stays permanently bent. So you plastically flowed the material. And when you bend it back, you reverse load it in plastic flow. High cycle fatigue, where gears are generally designed for, are long life, well over 10,000 cycles. In fact, usually millions of cycles is what we have to design for. Then the stress is necessarily below the yield strength. So when, if you take a paper clip and you bend it such that you don't exceed the yield strength and let go, it comes right back straight again. That's elastic deformation, no plastic flow. Then you're going to end up with millions of cycles on this part before it fails. It's an important distinction for this reason.